Hi guys, uh, I'm sitting here doing a practical um, and some students have said to me that this process would be really good uh, if, they, if it would, could be uploaded to YouTube so they could watch it again a couple of times. So why do they want me to do that? So basically um, this is the process of cracking. Now cracking is the process whereby you get molecules like paraffin and we break them into smaller molecules. Why is that useful? Well, in the average barrel of crude oil in the world, there's not enough petrol to supply everybody's demand. Well, that's no good, so we need more petrol. But in the average barrel of crude oil, there's too much paraffin. So what's a good solution for that one? Well, basically what we can do is break these bigger molecules, paraffin, into smaller molecules, petrol. And some clever scientists figured out we could do this with a process called cracking. So what you can see here, this is a, a, a basically a laboratory version of it. In industry, obviously, they have huge uh, vessels to do this process, and it's a continuous process. This is just a quick batch process that we can do in a lab. Is it important? Well, yeah, it's one of the required practicals on GCSE. So that means that this will be directly tested, could be directly tested on your exam paper at the end. So you've really got to be able to explain this whole process, the practical elements of it completely. So what are we doing now? Right, we've obviously got a boiling tube here, we've got some cotton wool, and that cotton wool is soaked in paraffin. And we have here some bits of broken up plate, just your average household plate. What's that doing there? Well, some other clever scientist uh, figured out that broken plate will act as a catalyst for this process. A catalyst is a substance that speeds up a reaction without being used up. And that will speed up this reaction of cracking, breaking those molecules apart without being used up. So, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to heat this, this catalyst here and get it really hot. Once I've done that, I'm going to heat the paraffin part and then the vapours will pass over the catalyst. As they pass over that hot catalyst, the molecules will be cracked. So when they're cracked, I'm going to want to collect those gases that come off because they're our cracked product. So I'm collecting it through this mechanism here. It's a tube and there's a hole just in this piece of plastic and the bubbles will come out. Well, how do I collect those then? I've got tubes in here that have water, filled with water, so the gas should displace it. Oh, if you don't put it up, up above it like that, it will displace it, so you have to make sure it's right down, place that just above the hole, and that's now filled with water, ready to accept the gas that's coming off into it. So, what I'm going to do now is place the Bunsen on the hot flame, and place that under the catalyst and get that really hot. Now, you can see straight away some bubbles came out. I don't want to collect that, because that is just the expansion in here of the air sending that out to that. It's not the products of evaporation, it's not products of catalyst, uh, the catalyst acting and, and cracking these molecules. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pause that and let that get nice and hot. Okay guys, so now we've actually got that really hot, we're going to take this over towards the paraffin and that will heat the paraffin and evaporate the paraffin. The paraffin then will go across the catalyst and hopefully that will be cracked and you can see straight away that's collecting here. The hotter it gets, the faster it will collect. Okay, there we go, it's getting hotter, the vapors are passing over it, and they're being cracked. When that fills up, which it hasn't now, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit, just let that water out, there'll still be some product in there. Okay, and I'll take that away. Um, when you take that away, one thing you must make sure you do is take this out straight away, this tube, because otherwise what will happen is as that cools down, it'll suck the water back in, and that crack that tube apart and you could get something burning it could be could be it's obviously paraffin's flammable we could get a fire hazard there we've now collected a tube full of product and we'll learn at a later date how we can prove whether that product has got some cracked molecules in them so hope you've liked that video hope it's useful for you um, if you want me to make more which obviously will do don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you